Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I have another Thrifty Thursday haul for you, showing some children's books and other paper bits and pieces that I picked up from two sales over the last week. Hopefully you enjoy it and please like and subscribe if you want to see more. So these books were all found um, at two deceased estates and I answered an ad on Facebook Marketplace and was able to go there and pick up some books and other paper ephemera and I found some really interesting things. The first thing I want to show you is this um, children's activity book. I don't think it's actually very vintage. I think it's probably like 1980s but... Um, I really liked the pictures and I think that it would make a, um, a really nice kind of like filler for some childhood journals um, or you know even just to add into my mixed ephemera pack so I really like that it's really something that I think um, oh there you go it's 1970s yeah it's very 1970s kind of cover so it's very cool I'd love to make a 1970s um, childhood journal one day then I, um, one of the estates, I picked up this book here and I thought that I would use this to make a journal for one of my friends um, who is a nurse because I really like the, um, the picture on the front of that, if you can see that. Um, and it's just a novel, but I kind of liked the cover. I think it's a little dirty though. I'll have to somehow clean it or do something with the, the front cover there, but I really liked this little picture at the front. Um, let's see. I got this here. It's the Daily Mail book for boys. I've never actually seen this book before, but when I opened it up, I really liked the pictures inside. It's mainly just like a, um, a children's annual, but you've got beautiful illustrations like this one here, um, like full page kind of color plates and comic book pages and lots of themes like pirates and adventure and um, and all of that. So I think that that is um, just a pretty good, pretty good pickup. I always end up using the pages from these kinds of books. And then I picked up um, a book that I've actually seen before and I actually have this book. So it's always interesting to find the same vintage book that you already have. Um, I pretty, I'm pretty sure I've sold one of these covers. So now there's another one and it's just a simple children's annual um, with some, you know, little stories and some cute little pictures like this. So always good to have in your collection. I'm today, this afternoon, I think I'm going to make up some mixed, um, paper packs, like mixed, just words packs, if that makes sense. Sorry. I'm, I really can't talk today. <laughs> um, and so I think, yeah, I'll be able to use some of these pages as well. Next, this was really interesting. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm not particularly religious and I don't really collect a lot of religious books and things, but this um, was really interesting because it's actually a stained glass window book. So one of the stained glass windows in here was already colored, you can see. But it's kind of like this vellum, um, these vellum kind of pages. Um, and you would color them in and put them up against a window and, and they kind of shine through the window. So they're all in Christmas themed, uh, Christmas themes, sorry. And I think they just make really nice pages in a Christmas journal. We've got the three wise men there. Um, and so I picked that up too. I thought that um, that it was pretty cool. It did come in the box of books that this lady said that um, at the deceased estate. She said, oh, just take all of the books for a certain price. Um, so I, I didn't complain. I didn't argue. And I said, yeah, that's fine. So I'm sure I'll find a use for those. These are a couple of things. It's not really in the theme of the two places that I visited. Oops. Um, but I went to my mum's house on the way home uh, from the two sales that I went to. And she gave me these things. So um, she gave me some um, some Mr. Men books, um, which were really cute. She said she had spares of these. She was collecting them. And she said that these ones are spares. And I just think they're so cute. I mean, they're very much um, books from my childhood. So 
I thought, oh, they would really go inside like a, maybe a 1980s or 1990s journal. So I picked those up. And then I found this little tin, which was actually mine when I was a kid. <laughs> um, it had a little Barbie sitting on top, but I took that off. And I don't know, I'll put buttons or something in there. Um, it's really funny because it's got the best before date on there. Best before April 2001. So you can probably age me from that. I had this probably when I was about... Oh, well, six. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I just really love it. I like, I love kind of like this, this 1990s Barbie stuff because it's just like, it's my childhood. So I picked that up from mum's house. Now, getting back on track, um, I picked up some greeting cards and amongst the greeting cards in this pile was this really cute little part of some old vintage Christmas wrapping paper which I thought was really cute and look in the pile there was lots of just random envelopes um, and random greeting cards but this one was really cute it looks kind of quite local Western Australian local one yeah there you go um, so it's nice to find like local art work on cards and then this card here has kind of got like this hand dyed silk um, fabric bear it's kind of random but it's um there's another very local artist who's created um this card so i liked the texture of it i liked the silk part um now in the box of things was a big pile of um first day what is it, first day first day issue stamp envelopes and I actually use these and actually send a lot of my Etsy um, orders with these so if you've ordered a small piece of um, ephemera from me you've probably received it in one of these little envelopes um, I just find that they make really fun ways to post they, they re are really fun way to post things um, I actually went to the bakery on my way to the post office the other day and one of the ladies noticed I was carrying a whole pile of <laughs> stamped envelopes and she was like oh do you collect stamps and I was like oh I collect lots of things and I told her that I actually um you know buy these vintage first day of issue envelopes and send things with them and she was really shocked because she didn't know that you could do that um and I said yeah yeah so um I guess if you like stamps I really do and so I love finding these things we've got a Christmas iron oh this has got something in it. Interesting. What is it? Some of these things I haven't really looked into. Oh, it's just it's just cardboard. I thought I was going to find money or something. <laughs> no, just cardboard. So that. Oh, this is just a. Oh, it's just the packaging that came in. I can throw that away. Um. Now, when I chucked this in the pile to to look at on the video I didn't actually know what it was so you're lucky enough to unwrap it with me and let's see what it is it's in plastic but it seems like it's a combination of lots of things um this is cowboys and indians or something oh there's some postcards some written in postcards uncle peter and uncle jill thank you for your advice oh that's nice I'm not sure where it would have come from. It says Colorado here, so maybe they've sent it from Colorado. All kind of cowboy and Indian themed. Oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, they're like little Western... Western brochure or something? Time Life books. Interesting. Get rid of that envelope. Um, and an old photo. A photo... Oh, I like these little photo, um, they're great to put in and create little pockets out of in journals. Oh, a USA uh, postcard. Oh, it's a postcard. Is this Buffalo Bill? Is that who it is? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, but it's been sent. Um, I might cover up that, that address, but, um, oh, they went to Disneyland. Cool. I love the stamp. That's great. I think I might take the stamp off and use it for something. Really cool. So, yeah, I got a whole bunch of first day... Um, first day of issue stamps. We got some mint stamps here, but I'm pretty sure these look like I can't tell where they're from. United Nations. 
they don't actually have a, um, a country associated with them. So that's really interesting. Um, oh, we got, I got a pad of thank you paper. Would make really, really lovely filler inside, maybe a pink journal. But how pretty is this paper? It's John Sands paper. This looks kind of early 90s, late 80s. I remember my mum having stuff like, like I remember seeing some paper that looked like this at mum's house. But that's cool. Some more first day of issue stamp. Um, or did I go through these? No, I don't think I've gone through them, although I think there's a double up of these. Royal South Street Society. I don't know what that is. Oh, I love these stamps. Look at these Christmas Island ones. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they cool? They're really cool. Nutcracker. That's great. Oh, it's the 12 days of Christmas. That's cool. Oh, I love this Christmas one too. This is great. We've got some more here. Stamp week. America's Cup. <laughs> and, oh, this is a big one. Centenary of the birth of Sir John Monash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was like an army general or something. I should know. <laughs> Over there. What else have I got? Oh, I've got an old Western Australian exercise book. You might be from Perth. I had a couple of new subscribers from Perth in the last week. So hello if you're watching. Um, this is an old exercise book. It's way beyond my, like it's way past my... Uh, time but i recognize this because i'm on a couple of um like facebook groups about the history of perth and someone posted this saying oh do you remember these old exercise books so really cool cover i think i mentioned i'd love to do like a um 1970s or 1980s themed kind of journal and i think stuff like this would be really cool the colors are great and you know as usual just got some lined paper in there but lined paper is always good as filler for junk journals so it's always good when i get little stuff like this we got a book on railway the railway storybook and i loved this front cover really great back covers not so interesting um and then inside i'm pretty sure there's a few color plates in here or maybe not <laughs> but black and white all about um trains like these are really cool plates um and just your usual kind of you know stuff about trains but i think this would make a really great um like spiral bound notebook so i'm gonna start doing that i i actually picked up a guillotine for ten dollars on the weekend from facebook marketplace so i'm gonna be able to make um notebooks now and cut up paper to size now these will be familiar to lots of people not that old these kind of look like late 80s as well maybe 90s they're those um little little folders that they used to put your photos in when you would get them developed and they were just in the box the guy had the guy one of the so i went to a lady's house and a man's house and at the man's house he was selling me some playing cards that I'll show you before. And then he had a box full of just like rubbish, he called it, um, paper stuff. And he said, just take the box of stuff. So I've gone through it, thrown away the stuff I don't want, but kept the good stuff. And I think that these are going to look fantastic in my travel journal, just to add a little bit of retro flair to them. Um, and inside you've just got this, you know, this kind of paper for the stamps, but we can get rid of those. And I just think they're gonna be, make really nice little pockets um, to stick things in. So I've got a couple of those. This one's really cool if it didn't have all the writing on it because um, it's got that little window. So perfect for junk journals. Definitely for my travel journal, I'm going to be keeping these. It's those, you know, it's those things you don't even think about that kind of cool colors and stuff. And then you go, oh, I can use it in my journal. This is a fabulous little map of Bunbury, which is a kind of regional city or town in Western Australia. And it's a lovely map. It's great. So I like the colours and stuff. Um, I usually travel through Bunbury when I go camping every year. So it's a nice little map. It's got a cute little man in the car. <laughs> so these are always fun to have little um, 
you know, tourist souvenirs of where I live or around the place where I live. And this is great. I've got my Disney journal, which I'm starting soon. I'm actually going to do a video showing you all the ephemera that I've collected for that journal. Or maybe I'll just make the journal and show you the journal. But, you know, that will take me so long. Um, and, yeah, from that guy inside the box of free stuff, um, there was this little a fabric Mickey Mouse book. So these are going to make fabulous pockets or just awesome to be sewn into my Disney journal. A little bit dirty. Might need a... Well, I was considering giving it a bit of a wash, but... I don't know, considering the age of the fabric, 1970, I don't want it to, and it's already kind of faded, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I won't wash it. Let me know what you think. I don't really like that it's very dirty. Might need a rinse. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's a bit gross, but um, but cute nonetheless. <laughs> it's going to go great in the journal. It's always good to find vintage Disney stuff. Um, I got this little lady, ladybird book. It's called I Like to Write. These Ladybird books are always great for um, their illustrations. Aren't they awesome? Oh, I've never seen this. I actually don't have this one. Um, oh, look at the pictures with all the dogs. These are great. Yeah, sometimes um, Ladybird books, you know, they're, they're on so many different themes. But this one's just really nice to add into a, like a childhood journal. This is in really good condition. I think this might be a, like a new version, like a new printed, um, a newly printed version of the older book. We, uh, I picked up a collection of these PM Benchmark books. If you're a teacher, you probably uh, know about PM Benchmark. I don't know if it's an Australian thing, but um, we still we still use these PM Benchmark books at schools. I was a teacher. Um, and I would, yeah, we would use these PM Benchmark books and they've just got some, you know, uh, cute little illustrations in them. They're very small. They're very good for making little tags or pockets. These look like they're kind of from the 80s or 90s. Could be from the 70s. It's hard to tell. I wonder if there's a um, copyright date or anything on them. 1976 there you go so yeah they're really cool I love the colors in those but definitely great to make little tags out of or use for collage got these two little Enid Blyton books not really the style of illustration that I like but they came inside that box of free stuff so why not take it um this was great. this was really great it's an old travel journal it doesn't actually have any writing in it um, but it, inside it has these cute little world maps, small, really small maps of the continents, which are again, fabulous for my travel journal. So I'll definitely be using all of this stuff. And then it's got this cool little, my trip page, all of this information about conversion, conversions of weights and measurements, itineraries. So, yeah, definitely going to be useful for adding into my travel journal that I've already kind of finished. Um, and I've made a video on that and it's just waiting to be uploaded um, or my future travel journal. So, yeah, very cool little little book with some paper in it that's going to be really useful for me. I've got some little golden books, ones that I've already had before. So Big Red, Pete's Dragon and Woody Woodpecker. And the Woody Woodpecker at the Circus is great because I've always got circus-themed packs on the go. And they're always good to add in. And I love the illustrations in this big red one. They're just so, like, just so colourful and pretty and the deer and it's just really nice. So there's those three, um, three little golden books. Another Ladybird book on seals and whales. Again, Ladybird books just have really nice illustrations. It's a shame that a lot of these illustrations go across two pages, um, but that's all right. Now, this is what I actually went to the, um, the estate for. So on Facebook Marketplace, there was an ad up for these playing cards and they're really cheap. It was like the guy only wanted $5 for all of them. Um, and when I saw them, I was like, yep, yeah, 
$5 is fine for me because I love playing cards. So I got, I think there's four different sets in here. And the first pack is really pretty. They're these purple violet, um, purple violet playing cards. So all the same, purple violets. Fantastic to add into junk journals as little um, as little cards. I can also put them in my Etsy store. Then there was one pack which was just plain, but these are really great to. Um, collage on so they're always good and then there was a fabulous noddy a set of noddy snap cards and i loved noddy as a kid these are all the same on this on the back obviously with noddy but then the snap cards are all the different characters so you've got big ears noddy mrs fluffy mr wobbly Jolly Doll, all of the characters from Noddy, Mr. Plod. <laughs> oh, so these are great. I just think they're so cute. Um, if you haven't seen my little Lucy Atwell journal that I've made recently, I think these would go in there really well. They're kind of in that theme, that really kitsch, cute, um, childlike theme. And then there was another um, set called Golden Egg. I don't know if Golden Egg is a game um, or the brand. I don't actually know whether Golden yeah whether Golden Egg is the name of the game or the brand. But um, oh, sorry, it's hard to get these out of here. Oh my gosh, they're stuck. I had them out before. These look um, these look really old. Not really old. Not really old. Maybe late sixties or something. But um, yeah, they're just they're kind of like farm, farm themed cards, but really kind of really cool. Egg, a little egg sitting in the garden. <laughs> How random! So there are all these egg cards, a little goose card, um, a cow. So I guess if I'm doing a farm themed ephemera pack or something, um, these might come in use and the. The box was really cute as well. Not to mention the box that it came in um, is actually an old Daryl Lee box. And Daryl Lee's an Australian like um, chocolate company or candy company. They used to have these really cool shops, um, like old fashioned style lolly shops in shopping centers. They don't have them anymore, um, but you can still buy their chocolates at the supermarket. But um, yeah, they have these really, they used to have these really nice boxes. So this is an original Daryl Lee box and it's really pretty. Little bubbles there. What else have we got? Oh, we've got this um, massive uh, children's annual. So I pretty much call all of the books, like the four boys and the four girls books, I just call them annuals. They're probably not annuals, but they usually would come out around Christmas time. And, um, oh, it's kind of embossed with, with cars and things. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. It does look kind of 1940s perhaps, um, 1930s even. So you've got this beautiful color plate here, if you can see that. And the rest of the book is just that kind of um, brown paper, but there are a few plates in here. So you can see this with the planes, which is fab. This could even be 1930s. I'm not too sure. Um, some more plates. Oh, look at these cars here. Yeah, the Ford factory. <gasps> Visit to the Ford Motor Factory. Wow. This is really cool. I'm looking forward to going through and reading some of this. So yeah, I really like the cover. The cover, of course, um, can be turned into a lovely junk journal. Binding's not great and there is no back cover for it. So um, despite that, I just bought it for the cover. I really like it. Um, and it came in that, it came in the big bulk vintage book um, pack that I picked up. I also picked up some of these 1960s kids novels. So this one reminds me of the Annette Funicello ones that you can buy. Um, the Disney ones. I don't think this is Disney, but it really reminds me it's the same kind of style. Um, but this particular publisher, whatever the publisher is, Whitman, um, they do these really cool illustrations inside their, um, 
inside their novels. Now this one looks super moldy to me. So I don't know whether I'm just going to get rid of it and maybe keep the keep the cover, but the cover is not even looking that great. So I don't know what we'll do with it. It's very cute. At least I showed you, but it'll probably be going straight in the bin. Um, <laughs> this is a The Munsters book. And if only it hadn't been colored in here, um, because the cover's really cool and I love The Munsters. I've got it on DVD actually. I got it like a long time ago at Christmas because I love all those 60s shows. Um, and like the paste down pages are really cool as well. But inside there's no illustrations, unfortunately. It's just pages. Oh, actually, no, I lie. I just saw an illustration there. This one here. Oh, it's got, um, what's his name? Eddie? No, Eddie's the kid. I can't remember what the dad's name is. Mr. Monster. <laughs> oh, there's some more illustrations. Yeah, cool. Be great in like a 60s TV sitcom journal, but um, I don't really find much else, you know. Like I don't find – I love I Dream of Jeannie and Bewitched. don't find anything um, in those – with those themes. Another book, The Black Arrow. I just really like the colour. These Dean's um, – Dean and Son books are really nice. I've always got really nice covers on them. This one's called The Diamond Cave Mystery, and that's also got a pretty cool cover. Great to make little um, spiral bound notebooks, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do with this one here. All right, I got a um, road atlas. I think this looks kind of late 70s, early 80s. It's a road atlas of the United States. So you don't often, they're not, you know, I don't often, often find them in Australia, but this one, um, you know, someone must have traveled to the US and needed a, um, a map book. And these maps are perfect for my uh, travel journals. And also I make little scrap map, scrap map packs. Oh my God, that's a tongue twister. Um, and I'll be able to add some of these pages into them. Ooh, and if you like these um, little tape, <laughs> tape scraps, then you would love that. <laughs> I remember that they're there. I love using those as little um, as little ephemera bits. We've got some comic books. We've got this one here, which looks like it's kind of like a World War II themed one. All the comics in there. Great fillers for my ephemera packs. I don't really use comic um, comic books in my journals. Casper one. <gasps> How great. Some of these comic books also have really cool ads in them as well, like this, this kind of novelty ads. So there's a Casper one. There is a Porky Pig one. That's great. Lovely colours. Oh, a bit tired. And um, a Buster newspaper comic book. Cool. And I've got one more thing to show you. Thanks so much for sticking around. This is probably the most exciting find and one that I'm going to be starting on for my sister. This is another Betty Crocker um, lever arch. Not lever arch. What would you call it? Um, oh, I know what that's there for. Uh, oh, my gosh. I've lost my train of thought file cookbook that's the only word i can use <laughs> that's the only word i can find at the moment oh my goodness anyway here it is this one is uh, a lot more recent or a lot newer than my last one my one from 1963 or 1962 this one looks like it's kind of 1970s but I love it nonetheless, and I'm going to make my sister a cookbook journal. So I don't think it's as colourful as the 1960s one. Oh, I take it back. These pages are pretty colourful. Wow, look at all that. These are punches. Um, but yeah, perfect. It's in really nice condition. Probably better, much better condition than mine. 
um, which is going to be lots of fun to create. Oh, look at this cookie page. So, yeah, I love these file um, these file bound books because you can add things, you can take things away. They're just really nice. So, oh, that's so scrambled eggs look great. So, yeah, that's my last thing. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, hopefully I'll be back soon with another thrift, thrifty Thursday haul. Um, but yeah, these were just two really lucky pickups and I'm um, pretty glad that I found them. So thanks for sticking around. Let me know what you thought and hopefully I will be with you again soon. Okay, bye.